Hey guys, what's up? It's Katie and I'm back with another Marvel Contest of Champions video and this is kind of a follow-up as to the video that I posted yesterday um, regarding all the bugs that were in the game. Now, uh, if you don't know, <clears throat> there was some huge bugs going on in the game. Um, they We called them the Groundhog Day bug, not my term, <laughs> but I still thought it was awesome. Um, there were arena bugs, event quest bugs, alliance quest bugs, um, you name it, they were there. Now people were losing their streaks in arena. Some reported that they needed units to enter arenas instead of gold. Now imagine if this happened during the massive doom grind coming up. Um, AW and AQ got totally messed up and people lost wars and couldn't even finish AQ. Thank you. It was a mess. Yes, getting 30 minute timers is good, but it doesn't solve the problem of losing AQ points and wars. And you know, there was some poor guy out there, or girl, I should say, um, trying to take down the champion boss. And then this bug happened, got his first win, and then boom, gotta go back in. Now, at the time of this video, the game is back up and still bugged. Um, Kabam put out a couple um, posts where they, you know, issued the fixes. So the first post that they put out is they fixed Alliance Quest and Alliance War fights repeating, fixed fights repeating in daily special and event quest rewards duplicating champions. Some player able unable to mark messages as red, boosts unavailable in loyalty store. So they did that. That was the first. Um, then this morning at five o'clock, they posted out a final fix where it fixed the arena issue that some have encountered today. There are still some outstanding issues to look into, including the inability to claim rewards that were earned during the issues of today. And we will continue to look into these rewards over the weekend and into the week. Those rewards are not laced or excuse me, are not lost. You will be able to claim them. We know many of you will have knock on issues such as those that had missed out on war due to being unable to enlist or were unlisted or were not able to complete Alliance quest because of the downtime, missing out on arena times, among other knock on issues. With the fixes now in place, we can start to consider what kind of compensation we'll put together for our players. This will not be done this weekend and we likely won't have news on it until next week. This was a system-wide issue and as such, we want to be sure that we have covered every area of the game. We'll take care to ensure that this made the situation right for all our players. We really appreciate your patience and cooperation today and ask that you give us some more time to ensure that we can come up with a plan that satisfies our need to make this right for you all. Okay, so Kabam said there will be constant compensation, but what exactly does that mean? As far as compensation goes, Kabam is honestly not very generous. They generally fix issues, then wait forever on the compensation under the guise that they are looking into all the damage the incident caused. <laughs> and when, and you know, when the problem is totally out of the hands of the players, you get a crummy game in mail with, well, minimal items. Now, I actually remember a time when Kabam used to give compensation whenever the game went down down and it was boom immediate and it came with a sincere apology from you guessed it the collector no no not kabam mike <laughs> Now, Kabam acts as if the compensation is coming out of their personal 401ks. FYI, it's not. So I've heard a ton of thoughts on what the compensation you know, should be and that it could be complicated because the problem affected everyone in different ways. Now, me personally, I'm in a semi-retired alliance, so I really wasn't impacted as much as, you know, players doing map seven by five or, you know, intense top tier war alliances. Now, I think the best resolve for Kabam is to reward all players the AQ rewards that, you know, they got last week on top of what they got this week. I think that would more than cover any AQ, you know, cost loss. Now, as far as the points that they get, or excuse me, the points that they need to go, they need to reward the AQ points that were earned for completing the map 100%, whether they did it or not, because this was a huge, this bug was very impactful and it was a giant pain in the butt. Now, also the past war, just scrub that, get that out of here and the points need to be reverted back to their previous state and then just tack an additional war on to the end of the season. I think that is the best way to go ahead and satisfy for the things that were lost 
lost during war. Now, I think all players should get, you know, this this kind of random small package of heals, revives, and stuff that they always give, but also 1,000 units to each player. I think that would more than cover any cost of items lost during this time in quests, wars, AQ, or arena. And you know what? While we're at it, let's throw an additional five star in there just because you love us, kabam. <clears throat> Now, I also think this needs to be done fast. I hate when Kabam acts like they need to run any compensation through the US Congress before awarding it to us. I do not expect anything to be done um, before the end of the weekend. In fact, Kabam even said that it wasn't gonna be until early next week. But if we don't see it by early next week, it will be, you know, just an underwhelming package of items that they are famous for distributing every time this game goes into screw up. Now, I do want to say Kabam was pretty quick at, you know, saying that they were aware of the problem and they were working on the fix. However, bringing the game back up just when you fix AQ and AW wasn't a good result because people were still going in, trying to do arena, trying to, you know, conquer quests and that sort of thing. So, I think the game should have just stayed down to be all in all honesty. That way people were still weren't, you know, wasting items potentially, still weren't doing quest fights twice or even more times, having problems with arena. So that's kind of how I think about what this game or <laughs> excuse me, what the outcome of this bug should have been. Um, I will put a link to this forum post in the description of the video, but let me know your thoughts on this matter. What do you guys think? What do you, what type of compensation package do you think Kabam is gonna give us? Do you think it's gonna be nil? Should it have been immediate just like that? Do you agree with how my compensation should be? Or do you think you have a better suggestion? Let me know in the comments below and let's discuss. As always guys, thanks so much for watching. If you guys liked what you saw and you wanna see more, please remember to like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and hit me up in the Discord chat. Thanks guys, bye.